Hello everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn chapter 14.3, which is chain rule. Okay, so in the previous video, we have actually learned how to differentiate polynomials. So today, um, we will, we will once again learn how to differentiate polynomials, but of a different form. Okay, so let's take a look at what form are we talking about. Okay, so I am sure that everybody knows that um, equations of this form would also um, expand out to be polynomials, right? Okay, so where, where k and where n, they are all uh, integers and they are constants. Okay, so they will expand out to become um, polynomials as well. So today we are going to learn how to differentiate um, how to differentiate functions when they are of this form. Okay, so let me give you a, a, a brief guide to what chain rule is. Okay, so chain rule for chain rule, um, you have you have such a function y equals to x to the power of m plus k um, to the power of n. Okay, where m, k, and n they are all just constants. Okay, integer constants. So what you do is you treat this whole thing inside the brackets as a very big x. Okay, as a very as as a big X. Okay, so what we do now is we differentiate. We differentiate this X first to the power of n minus one, and then after that we differentiate the X again. Okay, so this is what this thing is trying to say. Okay, so what we do is we actually differentiate, treat this thing as a big X first, differentiate this big X to the power of N to get N, X, N minus 1 and then after that we times it by differentiating what's inside the bracket which is the big X okay, which is the big X I should use such notation so that it will not be confused with the small x Okay, so we will differentiate first the outer term and then the inner term as per normal, like a chain. So that's how the name got derived from. Okay, so we try an example. Okay, so for example, differentiate y equals to x minus 2 squared at x equals to 1. Okay, so um, if you have tried the questions that I asked you to try in the previous um, video, you will, you will probably encounter this. So uh, with your current knowledge, what you would actually do is you would expand this thing out. Okay, so after expanding, I should get x squared minus 4x plus 4. Okay, and then, I, and then I differentiate from here. Okay, so what I actually get is 2x minus 4. Okay, so I want to do it at 1. So dy dx x equals to 1 x equals to 1 um, this would be actually equals to minus 2 okay so let's compare with the chain rule so today we have learned chain rule right so what do we do so chain rule it's differentiating treating this thing in the bracket as a big x first differentiating differentiating this big x first to get 2 big x and big x is just x minus 2 to the power of 1 okay and then differentiating what's inside the brackets so differentiating what's inside the brackets would actually give us 1 okay because differentiating x minus 2 and x minus 2 after differentiating is just 1 so what will we get we get 2x minus 4 which is the same so if we were to sub in um, the value at x equals to 1 we would still obtain negative 2 okay so let's try another example to make things clear okay so now we have to differentiate y is equals to x squared plus x cubed okay 
So if you were to do this using expanding, then um, you would probably have a tough time expanding this thing out. Okay. So what we can actually do is make use of chain rule. Okay. So we treat this thing as a big, a very big x first. Okay. So then the dy dx would just be differentiating this big x to get three big x, but big x is just x squared plus x. To the power of the the original power was three, now it's two, and then all I have to do is to multiply by the derivative of what's inside the brackets. So the derivative of what inside the brackets you should be very clear by now two x plus one. Okay? So then the def the derivative of this whole function would just be 3x squared plus x squared times 2x plus 1. Okay, so very simple example. Okay, in summary, the chain rule is just treating what is inside these brackets to the power of n as a big x, differentiating it first, then differentiate what's inside the bracket. So once again differentiate the outer term, then the inner terms as per normal, like a chain. Okay? So this is called chain rule. So with this you can actually practice um exercise 14.2 of a pen pad AMAX textbook with this knowledge. Okay? Uh, I thank you for watching this video. Um I will see you in the next video.